Hello and welcome back everyone. So before we go ahead and jump into today's video, I just want to go ahead and announce that the IERC season three has begun and is currently going on. Uh, this will be going on all the way until December the 29th. Information for you is all on the screen. And if you have any uh, additional questions and stuff like that, or wonder what it is, it is an IRL tournament that is hosted at Gameology and Collectible Exchange. Uh, it is a partnership that we have going. And uh, I do have a dedicated video that I will go ahead and maybe link here, or you can go ahead and check out my page for the IERC explanation video. Uh, if there's any additional tournament uh, info about big tournaments happening at Collectible Exchange or any other big location, uh, that will be followed in the video itself. So, you know, you got to watch to go ahead and figure that out as well as uh, maybe if I have any spoilers about potentially some mats that may or may not be coming out from the one and only Yggdrasil Materias. So thank you all very much and enjoy the video. All right, here we go with day number two of the IERC so uh once again we are going to go ahead and be putting this video to two times speed so that way we can try and get through this as quickly as possible we have me over here on the left versus badger over here on the right i'm just going to go ahead and start off with set pass we're going to start off and then badger's going to go ahead and start off with a charge Lumina and jane and the foolish and he's going to go ahead and search for what I would assume. Yep, he's going to go ahead and search for Monk. We're going to go summon out the Monk. We're going to go swing. Uh, it is the Raiko. Raiko will go ahead and pop. We're going to go ahead and uh, shuffle up. And then we're going to go ahead and mill our three. One, two, three. Um, not the greatest of mills. He'll go ahead and set a background and send it over to us. All right, we're then going to go ahead and start off with a... set a monster pass <laughs> oh my goodness all right yeah i don't think we had a great opening hand this go around uh the unfortunate thing of uh playing amaryllis is that you do have just very bricky hands and it kind of fucking sucks um one all right we pass our badger he's gonna go and try and figure out how to get around the set one monster pass since aaron or aaron is gone we're just gonna go ahead and set a monster and pass it over to us we're gonna go ahead and draw i think I think now we're in a really, really good spot to start doing stuff. I just can't remember what I set. I think it is a, I think it's a dandy, isn't it? I think it's either a dandy or it's the Necrogarna. It might be Necrogarna. Uh, let's see what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go and activate Foolish. Foolish is going to go ahead and send a Dandy. Okay, so then what? Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get our two tokens. We're then going to go ahead and send out Debris. Debris is going to go ahead and target the Dandy. We're going to go ahead and Synchro for eight. We're going to get one more token. And then he's gonna go and tempt the bottom us. We're just gonna go ahead and negate that. And then just confirm we have any tokens we have on the board. Then we go end phase. Maybe we start us and pass it back. <laughs> Over. Oh man. Also, shout out to you, Yggdrasil Materials, for uh, getting me the map very, very quickly. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all know, but uh, they are going ahead and. What was it in the previous drop? They were giving out some uh, some test mats to some people. I was able to grab uh, this one, the green. I forget what it's called. But uh, well, no. honestly, really nice mat. I mean, it's it's a single player, so you know, it kind of unfortunately you kind of have to pair it with something for it to actually kind of like feel pretty good. For those of you that have used uh, two players or single players, uh, you know, they'll just slide around all over the place if you don't put something under it so that way it doesn't slide. But Badger does go ahead and break our board a little bit. It does leave the Bryant field. 
so because he does go ahead and banish the Stardust with the Chaos, and then we're gonna go ahead and break the the Brio. We'll go ahead and Brio bounce the Chaos Lurk, which matters squeaky. Ooh, 23. And I forget how. Yeah, so we swing for 23. He's gonna go ahead and drop the drag on that. So I'm thinking, I don't wanna bounce the drag. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and bounce the drag. We're gonna go ahead and double tribute for a uh, titanial and then end phase we are going to go ahead and banish to bring back the amaryllis so we do have three tokens and an amaryllis on board uh, i do apologize for the glare i am trying to fix that <laughs> i just need to put together the device that will be used <laughs> Or for anyone out there wondering, that is a Titanial in attack position and Amaryllis in defense. And the top one is a token. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go with a T-set pass. Hey, right, we're going to go pass out over us. Oh, so we're going to go and draw. Um, we're going to go ahead and activate Hidden Armory. We are going to go Mill, Mill Charge. We're gonna go ahead and grab a DDR. Oh, I'm just, we're just gonna go ahead and start getting in for some damage. Uh, we're going to battle Titania over the set. Ryko, are we gonna go ahead and, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and mill. And then we'll swing in for 22. Yes, and then we'll go ahead and burn for 800. And then I think we go to end phase. I don't think we DDR here. I think we wait until I think we do it next turn. If I'm correct. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go end phase. We'll go ahead and banish to special summon the Amaryllis and defense and then pass it on over. Once again, uh, shout out to you, uh, you still, uh, the mat, the single player mats should be coming out soon. I don't really have a date yet for them. Unfortunately, I haven't really asked, but, uh, if you all like single player mats, the mats are really nice. Yeah. Uh, they feel great. They feel just like two players. Of course, it's just, uh, do know you do have to get some like additional, something additional to put under them. So that way they don't like slide around. Like, uh, what was it? I'm thinking probably getting some. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and banish for Chaos Lord. Chaos Lord can go ahead and summon. Uh, I assume we're gonna stack for Plague here. Yes, we are. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and stack for Plague. We're gonna go ahead and grab the Plague. We'll then go ahead and. I think he. If I'm correct, he misplays here. So yeah, he is gonna go ahead and synchro for an 8. And he is gonna go ahead and make Dark End here, if I'm correct. Yeah, well, what is the, like, the stuff that like people put in like cabinets? I think it is. So that way stuff can like slide around. Okay, he's gonna go into battle. He's gonna go ahead and swing over the Amaryllis. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and burn for eight. And then we're gonna go, gonna go ahead and titanium effect. Go ahead and... Um, uh, stop Darkhead for any of you out there that do not know. Let's go ahead and pull that up. You uh, are where is it? Target one monster your opponent controls. So yeah, for anyone out there, uh, it does target. Uh, um, we kind of, it's like, because the card does just say send, and it does, it doesn't like really. It's just one of those things where it's just like, oh man. 
it, it doesn't seem like it targets, but it does. <laughs> so uh, I do go ahead and take game number one versus Badger. And then for also, you know, since we're since we're in these videos, we're going to go ahead and show off the RBET top eight map. All right. This is one of the versions. All right. There are two. So this is uh, version one or not version one. Or this is uh, what is it? Because there's going to be the four. What is it? The eight. So four of these are going to be in like this color and shading. And then we'll go ahead and show the other one later on, as well as with some uh, some other uh, tournament news happening over at Collectible Exchange. Their AC, I believe, is fixed. All right. They had a, a crew of people uh, come out and uh, replace the entire thing. All right. So uh, no more of it just being a little bit uh, a little bit warm in the building. All right. We don't we're gamers. We sweat. We don't want, we don't want to be all sweaty and like me while we're playing cards. So uh, it is very great to hear that it is fixed and is getting for it and then has been fixed. Finally, management finally went ahead and uh, fixed it. Thank goodness. It took forever. But uh, all right, here we are heading into game number two versus Badger. All right, so manager will be going ahead and going first. Looks like what we got Avarice, Foolish, I think, right? I think. All right, so we're going to go ahead and summon up the Aaron. Uh, we're then going to set a back row and then end phase three. One, two, and then the third. Yes, because it is for three. We're going to go ahead and draw. Uh, let's see. So we are going to go ahead and start off with a trade in. Pigeon Potato to draw two. Uh, we are then going to, we have like some pretty good options, I believe in hand. I think we also have Aaron in hand, so I think we, hmm. Okay, how are we doing this? Okay, so we are going to go ahead and mark the bonus. We'll go ahead and grab the Aaron. Um, yeah, just explaining how it works on the end phase. And then we're going to go ahead and activate Ancient Forest. That way, whenever anything battles, it will go ahead and destroy it on the end or at the end of battle. So we're going to go enter battle. We're going to go swing in for 16 end the battle. It's going to go ahead and get destroyed. That's really like our best option. Uh, we are then going to go ahead and summon out, I believe, our trooper and then pass the turn. Uh, I think we have card destructor ahead too. I just didn't want to use it yet. All right. So we are going to go ahead and pass our badger. Badger is then going to... Some of the Pyramid Turtle, Pyramid Turtles need to go ahead and swing over, or no. Oh no, I think I summoned Lila. I think that's what it was. Okay, if you still get to it, uh, it most likely was Lila. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and grab Zombie Master. Or no, it was Aaron. Okay, so I did have Aaron in hand and I was like considering crashing. That's what it was. Okay. Uh, so yeah, then end of battle. Uh, Zombie Master will die. We'll host that additional back row and then pass it over to us. We're gonna go ahead and draw. We'll go ahead and. Like, our mills have just been straight cheeks. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and summon out. Okay, yeah, we summon out a Lila, our Lila, and then it does eat the bottomless. Uh, we'll go ahead and... <laughs> yeah, pass through, because we really just don't... <laughs> our hand is so bricked, it's just insane. It's just so unfortunate. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and send another Badger. We're Badger, we're just going to go ahead and activate Avarice. He's going to go ahead and put back five. And he's going to go ahead and get his draw two. I 
Um, let's see, did we get anything good off of that? It looks like, but... All right, we're going to activate heavy. You need to go ahead and destroy the face or the um, destroy the field spell so that way he's able to swing in and his monsters not die by or not uh, get destroyed in a battle. Uh, you can go ahead and mill JD bottomless. No more bottomlesses, which is always nice. Uh, I think I card destruction here. I just need to get my hand like online somehow, and I'm just like digging and not finding anything okay wait what do we summon Oh, summon a lone fire. Okay. Lone fire effect. We're gonna go ahead and bring out a load additional load fire. A lone fire effect. We're gonna go ahead and bring out a uh, titanial. And then we're gonna go enter battle, swing, checking for the honest. There is no honest, and we're gonna swing in for 500. And then we're gonna go ahead and pass turn all right but i just go ahead and draw we're then going to man that glare is something else yeah i'm not gonna put my phone i'm not gonna put things in that position again that's kind of like just insane so yeah noted for the future don't do this <laughs> all right uh so we're going to go ahead and banish the dad for the allure. We're going to go ahead and summon out the Lila. Lila is going to go ahead and attempt to swing over. We will swing over one of the lone fires. Deal 1200. And... We're going to go ahead and activate a uh, zombie world. And then book of life banish to summon the... Summon the Jane. I'll set him back around and pass. He's gonna go ahead and mill two, mill three. He does get the plague and then he gets a wolf. So it's very strong. So he's gonna go ahead and well, I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I think my hand really can't deal with this. We're gonna go ahead and summon out card tripper. One, two, and three. Um we're gonna go enter battle. Uh so attempt to swing over the wolf. We will go into a mirror force. We'll go ahead and get our draw in. Uh, we're going to go ahead and activate reasoning. Uh, I believe he does call eight here. Oh no, we'll bring out the valley. We are to go ahead and banish, draw two. And I think we scoop it up here, if I'm correct. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and scoop it up because uh, zombie board coming down kind of. Zombie World wasn't like the nail on the coffin, but it did kind of just really suck right there. All right, so I'll go ahead and show, I guess I'll go ahead and show y'all the other one. Okay, right, so this is the other four of the top eight playmats for RBEC New York. Like, in all honesty, these mats just look absolutely amazing. These are all one players and like, in all honesty, I think possibly this is the best top eight mat there is for the single players. It's just so insane. It just looks so nice. It really does. Like the the card art or the uh, the monster and um, just the colors themselves just look absolutely fantastic. All right, so we are me. Going first, we're going to go ahead and start off with a Lone Fire. Lone Fire is going to go ahead and grab ourselves a Titanial here, I believe. Oh no, we're going to go to Lone Fire. Lone Fire into Lone Fire into Titanial. And then we're just going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right, we're going to go ahead and go with a Gold Star. Gold Star is going to go ahead and grab ourselves. Gores. 
Oh, that's right. He went for Doris. Which is just wild to do. It just lets me know, like, what you don't have. Alright, so we're doing some of the Aaron. We're doing set up acro, activate uh, zombie world, or zombie world, in phase mill three. And it's gonna go ahead and pass it over to us. We're gonna go ahead and draw. Activate charge, one, two, three. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a Lila. We're gonna hit some of the Lila. Uh, Lila effect pop the zombie world, no protection for it. And then we're gonna go enter battle, swing in, and then just no protection for that either, which is kind of rough. Uh, we're then going to activate phase mill three, uh, banish for cost, special summon Amaryllis, and then pass it on over. And then uh, that is going to be it. <laughs> oof. Oof, oof. All right, let's go ahead and skip forward and get into the next duel. And it is now me versus the other Nick, the battle of the Nicks. All right, Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. Yep, that was uh, me versus Nick on this go around. All right, so I think I lost the die roll, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, I did the die roll. All right, so Nick's gonna go ahead and go first. He's gonna go ahead and start off with the uh, Armageddon Knight. Oh, we got it. It's gonna go ahead and set itself most likely. Oh no, we're setting a value. Ooh, there we go. Uh, can we send Echo Guard to pass? Nope, we'll set it back around and pass it over to us. We're gonna go ahead and activate Heavy Storm. We hit the bottom of us. We're gonna go ahead and Reasoning. He's gonna call. I forget what he called. I think he called a four. Uh, we're then going to. Set up back row? Pass. Alright, we're gonna go enter battle. Sweet! Clear the Raiko. And then we're going to tribute summon for the Caius. We are gonna go ahead and banish the Caius. We'll go ahead and get our two tokens from the Dandy discard. He'll set a back row and pass it to us. We're gonna go ahead and start off with Lone Fire. Lone Fire will summon successfully, which will go ahead and uh, tribute one of the tokens. Bring out Lone Fire. Lone Fire is going to go ahead and bring out Titanial. And then we're going to go enter battle, swing in for 500, swing in for 28. And I think we just pass it on over rank. Yes, we do. He's going to go ahead and draw. Uh, yep. Titanial hits any card that targets any card on the field. So long as I have a face up plant to go ahead and tribute. We're going to go ahead and summon out the uh, Soroko. Special summon out the Gale. We're going to go ahead and Synchro. We're going to go ahead and make ourselves a colossal fighter uh colossal fighter is gonna go ahead and swing over for 24 and then pass it over to us we're gonna go ahead and draw we're then going to hidden armory mill go ahead and grab the mark of the rose uh we're then gonna go ahead and mark of the rose Manager cost to take. He's gonna go ahead and solemn that. Oh. Oh yeah. They were just gonna go. Uh, that, or what is it? Lone fire to go ahead and grab a. What was that? I think we grabbed a the token or the. We grabbed a dandy, and then I think we just pass here, right? Oh no, we're gonna go ahead and foolish, foolish send an amaryllis. Switch to defense, and then end phase, amaryllis pass. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, value fact. We're gonna go ahead and bring out armor mat or armed wing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and swing over, swing over. We'll get the token, so set a monster, pass it over to us. We're gonna go ahead and draw. We're gonna go ahead and activate Dark Lord Lightning. Uh, target the face down, pitch, uh, switch to attack, enter battle, swing. I'll take what? I think it's 100. He'll take 800. End phase, banish for cost special. And then banish cost special. He's gonna go ahead and draw. 
Uh, he's going to summon up the plague. Plague's going to go ahead and make himself a thought ruler. Uh, swing in. He's going to go ahead and gain 22 after taking 800. And then he'll swing over a token and pass over to us. I don't think there's really a draw to go ahead and get us out of this. So we're just going to go ahead and scoop it right up. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and go into the side real quick. And uh, as for another announcement, you know, we do have... For those of you out there that love to play hat format, we have a hat tournament coming up next month on the 12th. All right, so uh, I will part be participating in this event. Uh, you know, I mean, the, 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 ha the hat hype has been coming up recently online. So uh, we're going to go ahead and capitalize on that. And we're going to be doing a PS5 hat tournament. All right, additional prizing after 24 players. And deck lists are going to be required. So I definitely do recommend that y'all go ahead and check out Collectible Exchange. I do have their information down below. Uh, message them on IG or Facebook to go ahead and get RSVP. Uh, I do recommend everyone RSVPing. Please, please do it. Uh, and it, it makes it so that way we know what additional prizing will be. Okay. Instead of doing it like on the spot and everyone's wondering like, oh, what's the additional pricing? Well, we don't really know yet because we didn't expect all these people to show up. Because everyone and their mother wanted to show up last minute. So, um, I definitely do recommend that you do go ahead and RSVP. Once again, this is going to be on October the 12th of 2024. $25 entry, uh, you know, packs with entry and uh, Swiss rounds. Top of the playout. First place gets a PS5 and um, additional pricing after. 24 players and deck lists. All right. So that is one of the tournaments that will be happening. And uh, we're coming back and citing it's still happening for whatever reason, even at two times speed. But uh, yeah, hopefully I will see y'all there for the hat tournament. Uh, you know, the, and then we should be having some more tournaments, I believe, to announce very shortly. I believe this is going to be the uh, test run of the new AC. So, yeah. All right, we're doing the FOMO shuffle. The shuffle that really does not do anything but just kind of just annoys your opponent. Because you're just like, I kind of just want to duel. And uh, it'd be great if we can just get to the duel. And not have to take 30 minutes to uh, shuffle your deck. All right. All right. So, we are going to go ahead and uh, go first this go around. Hopefully, we don't get absolutely dunked on all right so we're gonna go ahead and start off with a sent to back row and then pass the turn uh he is gonna go ahead and activate heavy storm and uh you know it is what it is all right we're gonna go some other armageddon knight armageddon knight's gonna go ahead and send the Okay, so now we're gonna send the okay. We're gonna send the curtain this time, and we're then going to. This is a two times speed, right? At least like a two times speed. It is a two times speed. So. Um, I think he's just gonna go ahead. We'll swing. How was it? He'll swing in. We'll take the fourteen. We'll draw and pass. We're gonna send out the card trooper. Mill three. Uh, swing in for fourteen. And then pass the turn, just in case we do have the gores. Uh, we are going to activate the brain control. We're going to take the card trooper, mill three. Pretty good mills. All right, so we're going to go ahead and mark the rows. We're going to go enter final swing. And then swing in for 19. And then main phase two, we are going double tribute for Titanial. And then we did, f oh no, wait, never mind. That's right, we didn't have another plant, I forgot. Uh, but he does have, he does have the three darks, which kind of has me like, m like miffed a little bit. I'm like, man, if he, like, if he has a dad, he has a dad. That's kind of just what I was doing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Oh, wait, did I misplay here? Hold on.
Yeah, that shit was tribute summon, and I swung in and I destroyed the titanium like a dumbass. <laughs> wow, I'm dumb. Um, I totally for I totally thought I brought that off. No, I double tributed for that. He'll enter battle, swing, we'll mirror force it. And uh, wow, I'm so dumb. All right, miracle fertilizer. Go ahead and grab ourselves the titanium back. And then we'll swing for 300, swing in for 28, which we'll go ahead and eat the gardener. Wow, I can't believe I did that. That's, uh, I'm stupid as shit. All right. Uh, so yes, any charge that targets a card in the field. <laughs> All right, yeah, we are going to go ahead and special summon another dad. I assume we're just crashing here. Yeah, I think we just crashed here because we can't pop anything. Okay, so we're going to summon another Armageddon. I'm going to go ahead and send a value. We are going to go ahead and synchro. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and crash. We'll, we'll take a little bit of damage. We'll get tokens and we'll destroy a token. It's going to pass it over to us. We're going to go ahead and draw set one, set two. Pass it on over. Uh, Army get a night effect. Or, uh, Army, Jesus. Uh, graph effects. Pitch, pitch. Tribute someone for the Caius. Uh, into battle swing. We are to go ahead and karma cut. Go ahead and get rid of it and pass it for us. We're gonna go ahead and draw. We're gonna go miracle fertilizer. Go ahead and clear the monster. And then we're gonna go end phase. Bench cost is special. He's gonna go ahead and draw. And then he's going to value effects. Uh, Intermental swing, he'll take the 100, he'll set a monster, set a back row pass, we're gonna go ahead and draw, he's gonna go ahead and dust. I think I might have misexpl- I might have- what was it? Ex not explained it correct- or not really correctly, but not to the best of my ability right there. All right, so uh, with like Miracle Fertilizer, like if it, uh, what was it? If you destroy the spell, the monster stays, but if you destroy the monster, the spell goes. And we're gonna go ahead and Synchro. We're gonna go ahead and make ourselves. I think we make Black Rose here. No effect, just in case he sets anything or puts anything in defense. All right, he's gonna go ahead and value effect again. He'll make the silver wind. He's gonna go ahead and send gale. Enter battle swing. And then token, and then half. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and draw. Switch defense, set, end phase, bench for cost, special summon, and then pass the turn. So he'll go effect to half the umbrellas, swing over token, pass it over to us. We're going to draw. We're going to go uh, enter battle, swing. We'll take a little bit of damage. And then I'll set a back row and then end phase, uh, banish. And then he's going to go and dust it, which was a bluff. All right, so he'll swing over, and then he forgets to have. So we are going to go and switch to attack, enter battle, swing. 900, and then burn for game. Yeah, that was just an unfortunate, like, he forgot to be, like, have the Amaryllis. If he has the Amaryllis right there, he does have, like, at least another, like, another turn. Uh, like, that was just... That was just one of those times where, like, you just forget, unfortunately. Kind of like how I, uh... Was like swinging with Titanial. Flip the fossil dino. The monster that I clearly tribute summoned. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's right. Obviously, the only way I brought this out was with Lone Fire. So uh yeah, it gets destroyed. 
Oh, wait. Okay. Oops. I thought that was game three. Okay. So, right. That was game two. And what was it? We're going into game three. That's right. Okay. So, we're going to summon out the Gruffer. Gruffer is going to go ahead and send the Vayu, which is also going to go ahead and send this Sirocco. And we're going to go ahead and synchro here. Or we're going to go Vayu effect. We're going to go ahead and summon out the Armed Wing. And then we're going to go ahead and set the deck dev. And then pass the turn. He's going to go ahead and draw. He's going to opening hand deck dev, which, like, so. Oh, no. I fucked it up. Hold on. What is that? One twelve three nine. So yeah, uh, we'll just speak over the play right here. So in his hand, he does have bottomless and deck dev. So he only sensed the deck dev and then what was it? After he deck dev me, he was like, we were discussing it and he was just like, should I have sent the bottomless? And I told him yes, because you don't really know what's in my hand. And that also just kind of protects you from like, what's obviously in my hand, just monsters that are able to get over his uh his monsters and um yeah like and he was even asking us like do i wait for the deck to have or like should i have shotgunned it and i told him if anything if you're gonna hold it you hold it because like you set the bottomless and then what was that like you would some or you would uh like say if i had like lone fire in hand and i summoned it when i went to main phase you would go what was it um, you would probably activate deck dev there. And then when I bring up the titanial, then you bottomless the titanial or something like that. So like, that's just unfortunate. So he does deck dev hits nothing. We're going to special summon out normal summon. Uh, we'll swing in over with the cyber dragon swing in for 17. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set one and then end phase mill three do mill and amaryllis, which is pretty good. And then it's over, uh, back over to Nick. Nick's gonna set a back row, set a monster, or set two back row. We're gonna go ahead and pass, or he's gonna pass. We're gonna go ahead and draw. Our troop is just gonna go ahead and get destroyed. We do lie the effect, go ahead and pop one of the back row, which is another deck dev. And then we're going to swing in for 21. We'll set a back row and then end phase three and then pass it on over. All right, Nick's gonna go ahead and draw. We do summon on the Dyna. Dyna's gonna go ahead and attempt to swing over. We are gonna go ahead and Karma cut it. And then he's going to send a back row and pass. We're going to go ahead and draw. We do draw into another uh, under 1500. And then we're going to go ahead and enter battle swing in uh, for 21. We do have the decree. So we'll connect. We'll set a back row and then end phase. We'll mill three. And then Dandy's going to go ahead and get us two tokens. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, Emerald's effect banish to special summon. And uh, this game just went out of control very, very quickly. And uh, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and summon the Vayu. So yeah, he's at 1600 and then like, even if he was to set this, it's just pretty much game. I do get to change my leather to attack on the next turn. So yeah, we're gonna go enter battle, swing. We're gonna go and take a little bit of damage. And then we're gonna go summon the dad. And dad, we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna start popping. Uh, pop the Lila. And yeah, that is going to be it. All right, all right. For whatever reason, I got moved off the top table, even though I won. And Joey and Justin got put over here. So uh, yeah, that was just weird. Uh, so let's see, Joey will be going first. He's gonna go ahead and mill. He does get some pretty decent mills. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the Lumina. Lumina's gonna go ahead and uh, effect, go ahead and pitch to go ahead and summon up Lila. We are gonna go ahead and mill a bunch more. And we do mill a wolf. All right. And Justin will now be on the draw. Takes him down a wolf, Illumina, and Lila plus a back row. <sighs> also, I just realized Justin painted his nails, I think. 
Um, all right, so Justin is going to go ahead and start off with a... I didn't really get to see what it was. Uh, but we are to go ahead and Lila. Lila, go ahead and pop the back row. We are to go ahead and Jar. And, uh, like, then Jar could have been any, like, any actual real speller trap. <laughs> but instead, it's a Jar. <laughs> okay, so he's something not sure. Um, this is why I just don't really care for the draw traps. It's, it's just so, it's just not good. It's really not. All right. So we're going to go ahead and swing over. He does not have the glute. And then, uh, we're going to go ahead and swing in for a thousand. So we do go get a bunch of mills going. Uh, we do mill another wolf and then Justin's going to go ahead and draw. Uh, we are then going to... Obviously, we just scoop it up right here. I doubt Black Wings is going to be able to recover from this at all. Uh, Bring to Lila. Um, summon out the Blizzard. We're going to go ahead and sink her for 678. Oh, we're going to actually make go for 9. We're going to go for the... That's actually pretty huge. And then we're going to go enter battle, attempt to swing. Uh, we will guard into that. And then we'll pass... Uh, the best one play is actually pretty good. All right, we are going to go ahead and special summon out. Uh, we will go ahead and jar. And uh, I think that's just going to be all she wrote. Yeah, summon out. Um, uh, swinging for 17, swinging for 3,000. And, uh, uh, mill, mill wolf. Uh, mill some more and pass. Summon out the Sirocco, special, special. Uh, effect a pump, uh, swing over the dad. We are going to go in honest, and that is going to be game. Yep, sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. This is why I strongly recommend just take out the draw traps, please. For, for the love of God, it's just not, they're not good. <laughs> they, all of those could have been anything else. A book of moon, uh, what was it? Um, what are some other like like karma cuts right Yankee Barangs? It could have been so many different things. But instead they're draw traps that don't do anything. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with a summon false line set to back row, pass it on over. And we're gonna go ahead and summon the Jane. Jane's gonna go ahead and enter battle swing. We do have the D prison. And then we're just gonna go ahead and draw to mill to you off of the char or the uh recharge. Uh, we're going to go enter battle, swing it. We will connect for 12. We'll set a back row. Or set a monster, set a back row. Ooh, I pass it on over. Here comes the decree to just go ahead and just win the game single handedly. We're just going to go ahead and mill three, enter battle, swing. We'll get over the Dida. And then we're going to go ahead and pass the turn. All right, Justin's going to go ahead and draw. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and assume it's just a wrap from here. Because Black Wings just do not play any spells <laughs> out to the whirlwind. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and summon out Clute. Clute's going to go ahead and clear the card trooper. He'll get the draw. Oh, we're going to go ahead and pass it on over to Lila. We're going to go ahead and squeak over. There's <sighs> ace three. And then we're going to go ahead and pass it on over. Alright, Justin's going to go ahead and draw. We'll send a monster in the back. Oh man, that's just crazy tribute. Hit both the monsters, Vayu and a Snowman Eater. We'll go ahead and mill the four. Uh, do we just have dad in hand potentially? Maybe, or not dad, uh, JD in hand. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and Avarice. We do keep... Yeah, we do have the four names still in there. And draw one, draw two. Enter battle, swing for 23. Set a back row and then pass. Ooh, we got actually breaking y'all. I don't think this does anything, right? <sighs> Let 
I'm swinging for 23. Normal summon. We're going to go ahead and grab the clue. We're going to go ahead and synchro. And we're going to go ahead and make ourselves the Black Rose. We'll Black Rose the board. And pass the turn. And yep, that's going to be game. Oh man, would you look at that? All right, so now it is me versus Joey in the finals. Joey will go and start off with a set of monster and then pass. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start off with Lila. Enter battle swing. It is the wolf or the Raikou. I figured it was a Raikou, but I didn't want him to get any more additional pluses. So we will go ahead and send a back row, pass it over to our opponent. Our opponent's gun charge mill. Uh, summon out the wall from the mill. We're then going to enter battle swing. We'll karma cut it. Go ahead and clear out the problem. And then he's going to go ahead and summon the Lila or the Lumina to Lumina to go ahead and grab the gear off the pitch. Uh, we'll go ahead and mill a bunch. Not really anything good. We do get the plague in there, which is really good. And I get to get to see the honest is gone. All right. So we're going to go ahead and activate reasoning. He is then going to call, I believe he calls eight. Eight, but we do go ahead and get a plant in the graveyard, which is kind of what we want. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and activate. We're just going to go ahead and bring back the Titanial. Enter battle, swing. Uh, he called damage calc, but it wasn't damage calc. I just let him take it back. So, cool, whatever. He'll drop on us, and then that'll be it for game number one. And then, actually, my phone kind of... My phone died after this. But uh, I too I swept. I, I reverse swept them after that, and uh, I sent Joey all the way down from first place undefeated to fourth place, which was hilarious. Uh, yeah, it's unfortunate my phone died. <laughs> it really is. But uh, but yes, I did actually end up winning, and I got second, and then uh, Nick, the other Nick, got first. So uh, yeah, it was a fun. I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna go ahead and get first after beating Joey. But uh, instead, I got second. So, uh, woo! Yay! Action noises just winning at the end. But uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.